Perfect. Sounds great. Okay, so who knows what mean, median, mode, and range is? Ring a bell? You don't know? That's okay. No? That's okay. So, our first definition says what for y'all? What's in our first box? Okay, not quite that. Box number three. The average number in the percent of data. Good. So the average number in a set of data. Okay. This is going to be the mode. So next to that box, write mode. So now we're going to use those numbers that Brielle just said, and we're going to find the mode of that set of numbers, okay? So we have, what, 20, 13, 22, yep, okay, to find the average, we have to add all of those together. Are you ready? So if I add these, we're going to do 20 plus 13, which is 33. 33, good. Okay, then we're going to do 33 plus 22. What's 33 plus 22? 55. 55, good. Okay, we're going to do 55 plus 17. What's 55 plus 17? Well, what's 5 plus 7? 7. There you go. Okay, last one. 72 plus 28, right? 2 plus 8? 10. Carry the 1. 7 plus 2? 8. 8 plus 2? 1. We have 100, right? Okay, so then we're going to count how many numbers we have in our data set. How many numbers are here? 20. Hold on. Count this. 1. We have five. So now we're going to do 100 divided by five. Can five go into one? No. No. No, I can't. We're going to put an X there. Can five go into ten? Yes. How many times? Two. Two. Two times five is? here, subtract them both. I'm going to bring down that zero. Five goes into zero how many times? Zero. Zero. So we get 20. So zero times five. Zero. All zero down, right? So five goes into 100 how many times? The middle number is the So what would our, so we're looking at mean, median, mode, and range, right? So what number would go with that definition, or what, what what word would go with that definition? Data. Not data. Middle. <laughs> Not middle. Mean, median, mode, or range. We've already done mode. Medium. Median. Yeah. Median is middle. And a set of data. So I'm going to use these same numbers, right? I need to put them in order. Yeah. So my number. Okay. So I'm gonna put 13 first. Then what? Um. 10. 17. We're all using this set. Um, Not the set that's on the example. What would it be, Sila? 17. Good. Then what? Um. 20. 20. Leo, which number are you going to put next? Um. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. I'm going to do 28. We got one more before 28. 29. 
Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And then what? Um, Twenty-eight. Okay. So now to find the middle, I'm going to show you a trick that I like. You might find a different way. Okay. But I will start on this end, so I'll cross off one. I'll come down here and I'll cross off that one. So now it's equal, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll do it again. Here and here. Still equal. That leaves me with my middle number, right? So 20 would be the median of that data set. Okay? No, you said tell the like eight was three. What do you mean? So I crossed it out because this is the first number, but this one's the last one. So when I cross them out together, it's slowly getting me closer to our middle number. Does that make sense? What do you think mode means? Um, the average. Not the average. Look at your notes. Middle number of the intersect of data? That was median. Oh. Oh, the average the number. Mean? It's going to be the mode. Mode means mode. Say with me. Mode means mode. Like, when you're playing a game and you play time mode or easy mode. Not quite. You know the mode? I do. I don't play video games. I know what you're talking about. There's like expert level, beginner, right? Yeah. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about that kind of mode. <laughs> we're talking about the number that occurs. I'm going to add a couple numbers, maybe take some away. So if I have, we're going to do 20, 13, 22, 17, 28, 10, and 20, right? Which one do you see the most? Which number occurs most often? 28. Not 28. Do you think it'd help if we put these in order? Maybe. 20. Should we try it? It is 20. But should we put them in order and see? Yeah. Yeah. So what number is going to come first in order? 20. 13. Not 13. 17. 10. 10. We're going to do 10. And then what? No. <laughs> 20. 20. And then what? 22. And then what? 20, right? 20. And then 22. 22. And then 28. we're ending on 28. Does this help you see which number occurs the most? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot better than this, right? You don't think so? No. Because I can, I mean, because I can see the 20 just because. You could see it either way. So you could do whichever way makes it easier for you, right? So you could do the top one where you just look for both numbers, right? Or you can put them in order. Because then what happens if I throw another number into that? You put it beside the 13. Put it next to the other 13. Well, you come down here and put it next to that 13, right? Mm -hmm. But if we just look at this, are you only going to find one? Maybe, well, right? Probably. probably. Okay, so what if I do... Is there a mode? Um, in this one? No, yes. Is there a mode in that one? Yeah. No. Oh, mode? No. no. There's not. You see each number one time, right? So there's no mode. What do you think? No mode. You have to write no mode. Because there's not one there, right? Now we're going to do range. We're going to do range. Are you ready? Yeah. Who wants to read this last box for me? Will you read this box? Sure. Okay. 
difference between the highest and lowest number in the set of data? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So it's the difference between the highest and lowest number. So if I have 20, 13, 22, 17, 28, and, and 20. What's my highest number? 20. 28. What's my lowest number? 10. 10. 28 minus 10 is what? 